Good morning, folks. Pretty shot of the eclipse from space here to get you ready for some bad news. You might remember Mad Dog Mona sent me correspondence that led me to call USGS a while back and they eventually set out a press release. I got another email. No one USGS now know that 50% of the ringed seals are sick. They have lung diseases, lesions outside and in, and are extremely thin. There's still nothing anyone can do to make me believe this is not Fukushima. Such accidents are apparently much more likely to occur than we originally thought. Here are some of the danger zones, and our buddy Jill sent us this this morning. We are one moment away from further catastrophe. It's a good read. This is an interesting article about earthquakes in New Zealand, and folks, you know I don't like to swear, but this is absolute bullshit. Natural causes? Come on. We had the largest California quake in weeks yesterday. Tropical Storm Bud still off the coast of Mexico. Another one tiptoed past Guam and gained strength yesterday. There are also rock slide casualties in Vietnam and an unusual quake in eastern Africa. The space weather officially caused a geomagnetic storm. You remember we began yesterday with a coronal mass ejection impact followed by a building coronal hole stream. The yellow here is the solar wind speed. It really begins to ramp up around 3 or 4 UTC, simultaneous pulse on the ovation prime. Solar wind speed does remain very high. You can see the spikes here. That disturbance is in the outer magnetosphere. Baseline resonance is strong. The induction magnetometer measures a little bit more inner magnetics. Each red spike here is a magnetospheric failure, requiring the ionosphere to work overtime, absorbing solar plasma. Solar activity is nil. We may have a coronal hole forming right here. Up north, the active regions are slightly magnetically complex, but filaments present the major threat. Mercury has passed Jupiter in the sky and moves in to conjoin the sun. While that's happening, the moon dances next to Mars in the evening sky. As Mercury moves next to Venus to start June, the moon will be tangoing with Saturn, moving back for a full moon and lunar eclipse a day after her monthly perigee, and next day Venus transits this thing. That's the news, folks. Be safe.